Where are you guys going? Aerodynamics down there. Today was the Science Olympiad, so the students from our elementary school got to come and compete Whoa! in different science activities, creating things, building exciting stuff. I built a catapult to fling a ping pong ball and straw egg drop. I built a straw device around an egg and dropped it off of a staircase. It was so much fun with all the events and the dome. Whoa! There was like a movie inside a big puffy dome. We're building interest. We're building capacity in our young students to want to be a part of that Science Olympiad at our junior high and our high schools. It's so meaningful to have the Science Olympiad because the kids get so excited and so involved. You get to do new stuff in there. You get to play, you get to see new things, and mess with stuff too. They don't really think of it as learning. Me and my coach were working on paper airplanes for a while, and it was so much fun making them and just throwing them across the room. They think of it as creating and exploring and solving problems. So you want to make a vessel, you want to make a boat that's going to float. And our teachers in our district do a great job of providing hands-on experiences for our kids where they're having to do problem solving. It's really important for the students to physically get involved in their activities. They learn more, they become engaged. Science is so exciting. You're learning about really the world, the environment, everything. It's really important to get the kids excited about science at early age, even kindergarten and pre-K. Let them investigate things on their own, get curious about science, curious about nature and how things work, and that instills kind of lifelong learning. Everything is moving in that technology and that science trend, and so getting our kids prepared, understanding that you know it is important to be science literate, as well as literate in all of your subjects, not just in science, but everything. So we have a conductor, 